close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. Each time it comes in, stay with the breath. Don't let the mind wander off someplace else. If you wander off, just come right back. Wander off again, come back again. You've got to show some determination here that, that you really do want to make a difference. Because we are training the mind, and training is not always easy. Think about training a puppy. You have to do things over and over and over again, and the puppy finally gets the message. That's the same with the mind. So you have to be really insistent. You're going to stay right here. You wander off, you're going to come back here. There's no reward in wandering off, but try to give it a reward in staying. Each time you come back, let the breath be really comfortable. Ask yourself, what would be the most comfortable breath I could breathe right now? And after a while, you find that the mind gets a lot more tame. Because otherwise, it, living with an untamed mind is like living with an untamed animal. It's just going to do whatever it wants. It's going to chew up your carpet. It's going to dig holes and things and make messes and things. Get into the kitchen, get all the food. In other words, you don't have any control over it. And if your mind is like that, then how can you trust your life in, in any way? Because your mind is what shapes your actions, and your actions shape your life. So get the mind to be a little bit more tame. Make up your mind, you're going to stay here, and see how long you can make it stay here. Because as the Buddha said, the sign of a well-tamed mind is that you think when you want to think, and you don't think when you don't want to think. And your wanting to think and not wanting to think depend on, not just on your moods, but on what you see is really necessary and what's not necessary. As you spend a lot of time thinking about things when it's not necessary, it's, just, it's like going out in the garage and turning on the engine to your car, and then just going back into the house and leave the car running. Just using up the, the fuel, using up the energy, using up the engine for no real purpose. Okay, if you have a purpose, okay, get in the car and you drive it. Then you come back and then you stop, turn off the engine. It's the same with the mind. You need to think about things, you go and think about them. And you find that if the mind is well rested, you'll be thinking about them with a lot more efficiency. You'll have more energy to put into it, and the mind will be sharper. So as the Buddha said, a well-trained mind brings happiness. We tend to think happiness comes from things outside, but it actually comes from a mind that's well-trained. So work on this. And then see if what the Buddha said was true.